Yeah, so I think diversity is, is really important. And um, if you ask me what is the sort of diet that would create a healthy, diverse gut microbiota, mm. Yes. I would give exactly the same answer as what is the sort of diet that supports the immune system. Yes. Okay. So it, it, it's plant based. It's plenty and variety of fruits, vegetables, you know, berries, nuts, seeds, all the things you mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, sources of fiber, of course, um, because fiber is one of the really important um, nutrients for the gut bacteria. We don't digest the fiber, but the gut bacteria use it. So I think it's no coincidence that a diet that creates a healthy, diverse gut microbiota is probably the same diet that supports our immune system and actually supports lots of our other bodily systems. Um, so in other words, the sort of, I mean, you described it as a Mediterranean type diet. Hmm. That sort of diet actually is good for all um, General the different health areas yes. of our body if you like for general health hmm. um including the the microbiota and you're right that um you know aging has an adverse impact on on gut microbiota uh people with obesity have different microbiota from True. normal weight people so again many of the things which influence our immune system um like stress for example mm -hmm. also impact our gut microbiota um so Again, I would say, you know, a food first approach. And I think um, probably the impact of moving from a, a less diverse, um, less healthy diet mm -hmm. to a more diverse, more healthy diet, the impact of that on our gut microbiota is going to be greater than taking a probiotic. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm convinced of that. And the reason is that a probiotic is a single organism or perhaps a mix of organisms, but all you're trying to do is um, you're, you're sort of um, planting seeds mm. and then uh, they need to grow is, mm -hmm. is a way to think of it. Whereas if you, if you uh, have a diverse diet, you're sort of let, letting the natural ecosystem of the gut develop in a, in a healthy way. Um, that's not to say that um, some specific probiotics may not have a role in treating mm. um, some conditions, for example, um, like antibiotic associated diarrhea. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, you know, again, my message would be um, would be diet first, food first. Um, and it's quite interesting that although we think usually of fiber as the really important part of the diet for gut microbiota and I think it probably is the single most important but there are lots of other parts of the diet that actually also seem to be um, important for creating a diverse microbiota for example some of the plant chemicals mm -hmm. from from berries and um, from spices for example do seem to be important in, in establishing a healthy microbiota so it's a bit more than fiber although fiber is really central to to this concept yeah, and trying for that 30 a week challenge, trying to get as much variety as possible is is good. Okay. So